the business sense and community involvement that now has them swimming in success. Well, thank you, Jessica, for inviting us into your signature pool. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys do? Well, we build in and service and ground pools uh, in the Chesapeake and Tidewater area. And uh, you offer services from design all the way through servicing? Yes, absolutely. From the design that you would like for you and your family, and, it's, and when construction is complete, then you meet me, and, and we go over everything that you're going to need to service that pool from here on out. So how long have you all been here in Chesapeake? We've been located in Chesapeake for four years and operating in the area and with our trucks coming to your house to for whatever it is that you need. So this location here on South Battlefield is new to you all? It certainly is. We started building it out about five months ago and we're almost complete. Wow, and it looks, it looks great. It's coming along nicely. Thank you so much. <laughs> now you co-own the business with your husband, Ed. Yes, that's correct. And uh, what's it like being a woman in business? Um, this particular industry is been interesting since there's not too many female business owners in our industry. I am one of maybe two in the entire swimming pool industry. Do you find that there are organizations in the area that help support a woman in business? Oh yes, most definitely. I found a lot of wonderful uh, business owners in the Chesapeake Noble Women chapter as well as my husband's part of the Nobleman chapter of Chesapeake and I've just been able to, to uh, befriend several women business owners that have helped throughout the years and to bounce ideas off of each other and just enjoy giving back to our community through the Noble Women and Noble Men chapters. That's great. Now getting back to the pools, you know, we are in uh, November. Is now time to build pools? People kind of aren't thinking about swimming right now. They might be thinking about covering their pools up. But. Most definitely. But now's a great time of year to put your pool in because by spring you'll have everything done. Uh, when you build a pool, it certainly tears up the backyard. So that gives you months to put down your grass seed, plant your beds, get everything ready to go so that in March and April you can plan those outings uh, and your Memorial Day and Labor Day parties and get everything in line for your family. Great. Now, um, what kind of pools do you offer your uh, customers everything from basic on, on up? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Our most basic pool is a 16 by 32 that starts at 26, which is completely affordable. Uh, and it, of course, gets as big as you want it to get in these extravagant as you like it to be. Oh, okay. Now, I see, uh, you know, on those uh, HGTV shows, those really fancy pools with waterfalls and hot tubs. Do you all offer those kind of services? We certainly do. We certainly do. And it makes the pool just absolutely gorgeous when you add those features. And uh, why do you feel that uh, it's a good thing to add a pool to your yard? <laughs> it's, it's amazing what a pool does for family time. And we are all about family time. We are a family and business, which we absolutely enjoy. My brother works with us. My father works with us. And there's nothing better than having that element in your backyard to create the family environment for all of your cookouts and your birthday parties and whatever event you'd like to have. We have a client now that invited us to a polar plunge this winter to support autism. So we're, it's, it's just a wonderful thing to have for your family. That's nice. And how did you and Ed decide to bring your family here to Chesapeake? <laughs> <laughs> My husband was already located here, and I happened to meet him working as a waitress while I was going through college, and he was in the pool industry already, and it was just a great thing to do, so we started working together, and we jumped out on our own four years ago to our own company. And how do you feel business has been here in Chesapeake? It's been great. It is absolutely great out here in Chesapeake. We love the people here, and we support every event we possibly can, and a lot of us do, but Chesapeake is just a wonderful place uh, to build and service pools. And have you found that um, the business has picked up since people aren't taking the vacations as much? <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. Business has certainly increased over the last three years after the collapse. So we, it's just been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So Jessica, tell me about some of the marketing strategies you all employ here. Uh, well, we've used the shopper to run stories about it, and uh, they've done stories on us, but mostly what we do is it's it's uh, word of mouth. The majority of our clients come from referrals, uh, which has worked out fantastic. And of course, our social media sites between Flickr and YouTube and Twitter, we've been able to reach a broad base uh, and, and watching us build a pool live and be able to interact with us and, and that we've gotten a fantastic response from our social media sites. So Jessica, I see from your website that you all are very involved in the community. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We do a lot with the Sheriff's Department, with the Food Fest, um, Chesapeake Wine Fest.
festival. We've been able to um, help Hickory High School with their their scoreboard sign for their football season. There a multitude, anything that we can do to help. We just did a cornhole fundraiser for Samuel Napier, which is a beautiful little boy that, that unfortunately has cancer. Uh, anything that we can do to get involved in our community through softball, um, uh, sheriff's events, anything we'd love to be a part of because we'd love to give back to a community that's taken such good care of us. We're currently putting together a project called Backyard Haven, which is going to be incredible once we get it together. But basically what we're going to do as a company is we're going to build a pool for a child with cerebral palsy or spina bifida and possibly a veteran, you know, that served in our forces that's missing his legs. But we're going to build them a pool to create that family time and that therapy time to bring that family together. Um, obviously at no cost to them and then provide service for them for the next three years at no cost to them, whatever the pool needs so they can just enjoy recovery in that family time. Wow, that is so wonderful that you're all so involved. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks, Jessica, for taking us, uh, taking us, allowing us in, and uh, checking out what you guys all do. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you Thank as well. You. <laughs> Here's a question for you: Have you ever heard of the Virginia business term "swam"? Do you know what it means? And no, it has nothing to do with pools. SWAM is an acronym used for small, women, and minority-owned businesses. Through a partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, the Small Business Development Center, and the City's Procurement Division, the City of Chesapeake program can help provide education, resources, 